I have a very strong, as all Republicans, as all people in the Tea Party movement, which do not consist exclusively of Republicans, a visceral reaction to long lists of laws, rules, and regulations telling you how much tea tax you are going to pay, to what extent, uh, how many tubes of toothpaste you are permitted. I mean, this isn't exactly a hotbed of, uh, of conservative activity, but, you know, the fact is I like living in this area because, because of the fact that it's such a left-wing neighborhood. I mean, especially if you're walking all, along Green Street and you see the, <coughs> excuse me, the Red Sun Press, and then you walk further down and there's this, uh, you know, Haymarket People's Fund, and you have this house with uh, all these peace flags and, uh, you know, no war in Iraq and, and so on and so forth, or, you know, get out of Iran or whatever, whatever the sign is, but it keeps you sharp. I don't think trying to, like, uh, improve our healthcare system is wrong. Uh, it's certainly something that needs to be done, something that has to be done, uh, has, uh, should have been done a while ago. But uh, people on both sides agree, I think, and realize for the most part that just the bill that went through was, it really wasn't good. And there are a lot of people who resent uh, the passage of this act. Um, now, that isn't to say that there shouldn't be health care reform of some kind, but you know, to do it in this way and to do it in, uh, in this manner, uh, a lot of people resent it. Uh, somebody wrote, once wrote recently in the last few days, he does not believe that Obamacare is going to happen, and it has absolutely nothing to do with the Republicans. It has to do with the fact that Nancy Pelosi will not find the people uh, available to lend her the money. Obama will not find the bankers uh, that will lend us the money. We've run out of other people's money and our money, and there is no money for this plan. Yeah. In a lot of ways, living in the cities like pissing in the wind, it's, uh, you know, then you just try to change the hearts and minds of people. But at the end of the day, I'm just uh, living by my own set of beliefs. You know, uh, in this climate, like, people are losing jobs. I mean, uh, there's language in there that's going to tax uh, medical device companies. And, I mean, if you don't think that that's going to cause major job losses, like, uh, you're crazy. You know? It forces people to, to consider the fact that their opinion or the opinions that they've received aren't the only ones uh, that are out there. And they're not the only, uh, it's not the only valid point of view uh, that, uh, you know, no one has... Uh, you know, a monopoly on common sense.